Hello student. Today I am going to discuss uh, May June 2018 paper 3. So I made a duplicate copy of that file in the desktop. Let me open the question paper. So this is your question paper. I am going to discuss um, spreadsheet part. Uh, it is belongs to tax 3. Okay. Now, uh, first question, you are going to prepare a spreadsheet model to calculate the number of bricks used to build a wall. Okay. Identify the symbol used within a spreadsheet formula for the following mathematical operators. So, first, you have, uh, that means you have to write down the um, symbol, of, uh, symbol of this one, right? Multiplication, multiply symbol, divide symbol, power symbol that is not equal to symbol and evidence 5. Okay, so let me open the evidence document. This is your evidence document. So, in evidence 5, you have to mention this, this one, mathematical operator. Here, according to the question paper, first one is multiply. Okay. Uh, symbol this is multiplication symbol is this one star sign and why uh, what is the use of this symbol for multiplication and next one is division symbol this is the backslash number C the power of okay power of means exponent symbol this is called exponent symbol number C so it will be a shift 6 this is power of that that means if you want to write something power uh, like 2 to the power 4 that time you have to write first 2 then power exponent symbol and then 4 it will be 2 to the power 4 or 2 to the power 2 2 power exponent symbol then 2 okay now next one is not equal to is not equal to means less than sign and greater than sign okay now what is the use of this symbol this symbol is for multiplication this is for division this is for uh, exponent of any number that means power of any number okay and this one is that uh, not equal to if I want to mention if we want to mention something not equal to that time we have to give this symbol right okay now let's go for the next question open uh, open the file j1831 uh, estimator dot csv and bricks dot csv in a spreadsheet package examine the contents and edit the file j1831 estimator.csv so that it look like this okay first open estimator and breaks both you have to open okay according to the question paper with which one we have to work estimator so we have to uh, edit the uh, what they say edit the file estimator.csv so that it look like this that means you have to design your estimator file uh, it will be look like this if I check this one uh, you can see um, Bobby's bricks it is written in uh, which font it is written in uh, sensory font without any line and it is bold also and it is little bit big also they did not mention uh, what is the font size but it will be definitely big and it is merge a1 to c1 okay so first uh, estimator file you have to open this is our estimator file first block a1 to c1 and it should be merge so click merge center and the size of this font make it 26 make it bold also okay bob is brick you can make it more big 28 make it 28 okay uh, it is according to the question paper a background should be gray color so right click over this one format cell fill this one okay now next line in the question paper next line cost estimator or big soil it is also up to C so 
it little bit big so block up to this one C then Marcel mountain center and then right click over this one is it uh, bold uh, you can no, no need to make bold just make it little bit big format cell so font it should be little bit big so you, what you can do you can make it 16 black color fill background color will be like this right so now it is look like this first one it should be little bit more big like 36 okay I think now it is perfect okay Bobby's bricks and next this 3 is not visible row number 3 so what I will do I'll just make it like this next next part of this question mm, okay this all are right align this all are left align double click double click between two bold hold um, block hold the thing full thing and double click between two column and this one should be all right align and this one should be all left align right this one also right align check the question paper it is look like this I think this part is over now save this spreadsheet with the file name j1831 okay I forgot to tell you one thing that if something um, something is CSV format you have to save it as a um, Excel workbook save as in the desktop my file belongs to desktop so go to desktop May June 2018 inside 3 1 just give e e e I'm just giving some name but in the exam time you will follow the question paper one save okay done now next part of this question evidence 6 take a screenshot uh, showing the cell A1 to C12 uh, of your spreadsheet including the row and column heading A1 to C12 so first you have to block this way A1 to C12 what they are asking in the question paper they are asking to take the screenshot right uh, take a screenshot ok so block A1 to C12 print screen then go to your evidence document under evidence 6 you have to paste that one and you have to crop this picture because they ask for only A1 to C12 so select the picture select crop crop option you know how to uh, crop A1 to C12 you can crop this part also this part is not needed now click outside now make it big it should be visible properly so examiner should understand that you did everything perfectly right now you can check this part and your question paper part is same understood okay now place your name center number and candidate number in the center of the header Play, uh, okay uh, minimize this one center of the header so click on insert click on header header footer so this is your center line of the header sorry again header footer insert header footer so this is right align this is center align uh, according to the question paper what they are asking uh, your name center number candidate number in the center of the header so first you write down your name if you are from boy side that time our center number will be SA139 and candidate number just any number random numbers I'm giving now okay now after that what they are asking uh, place an automated file name including the file path on the right in the footer okay then click on insert again go to foot uh, the header footer this is our header now go to footer right align of the footer You have to give this is the right align of the footer you have to give this is the right this is center this is left so right align in the footer what we have to do 
place automated file name including the file path okay file name then comma file path right so when you click file path then it will come path plus file so you will wrap this one only file right so file name and file path click outside now see this is your file name and this is the file path okay and it is showing in two uh, two uh, like worksheet so you can click view menu then it will show you in one worksheet view normal right if you go up this is your total thing now let's see the next question for step 17 and uh, to 20 you may enter uh, test data to help your create uh, to help you create your model restrict the data entry so that means here the mention you can input your uh, any kind of data for testing restrict the data entry in the cell b4 to x or t take the screenshot uh, of your method restriction restricting the data entry place in your evidence document okay in b4 um, restrict your data entry into b4 s or d so that means b4 b4 means this one it will accept s or d so how to restrict the data entry so you have to go to data then data validation select data validation and there will be two data right s or d so you have to click here list because it will come with lists list now source will be s capital s comma d now you have to take this screenshot because here they mention take the screenshot to the method of restricting your data entity place uh, this in your evidence document so i have to take the screenshot this one print screen then evidence document evidence number which evidence they are asking for evidence number six so this is evidence number seven and here uh, no evidence six it is asking evidence six evidence seven sorry evidence seven you have to put your screenshot in evidence seven so this is your restriction only you will take the restriction part so you have to go to format you'll crop this part You can make evidence 7 little bit down so you can make this one down because evidence under evidence 7 your screenshot should be under evidence 7 so it should be visible even okay here it is mentioning list and this one is s or d now next question enter a formula in cell b10 to display single if before contain s double uh, if before contain d contain d so that means uh, you have to use if function because two condition is there one if it will mention single if before contain c s it will mention uh, double if before contain d okay now here in b10 i have to write the formula right in b10 you just press ok see here a1 menu came is or d okay b10 you have to write down the formula equal to if first bracket b4 equal to under the invited comma s capital s why i gave invited comma because in the condition if condition if i want to write some text that time that text should be under invited comma because we are comparing the text that is s right instead of s suppose you, if you want to write some number that time no need to give invited comma that is the rule of if statement so if uh, if before equal to s under invited comma then comma it will print what single okay and single should be under inverted comma because single is a text right 
otherwise if it is not s that means definitely it will be d otherwise it will be double again double should be under inverted comma close the inverted comma close your bracket now check here if i mention s automatically single if i mention d automatically double right that means our condition is working now next question enter a function in b9 to look up the name of the type of the brick using enter a function in b9 uh, to look up the name of uh, name of the type of the brick using bricks.csb okay now here is little bit tricky in b9 we have uh, in b9 we have to find out uh, you are planning to planning a wall made from dash brick you have to find out the name of the brick from which file from bricks file from here now here uh, name brick name is given uh, brick in a pack face area cost uh, of a pack here brick name is given and here brick code is given that means if you want to collect some data and all the data given in vertical way did you see that that means column wise if you want to collect some data from different table that means this table and if you want to put the data here that time brick code should be given here right so there is any brick code there is no brick code right so here is nothing no brick code is given so what you have to do you have to be a little bit tricky so you have to write any kind of brick code from here so what i will do i will just type one brick code from here one brick code is m so i will type one brick code here capital m and through this one we are going to find out the brick name so how to do using vlookup why vlookup because the data in the brick table given in vertical way the data here given in vertical way and as not a single brick code is given in our main file so we typed one brick code simple brick code uh, from here any kind of brick code you can type now here you have to write down the formula here so in b9 right in the question paper they ask for in b9 yes enter a function in b9 to look up the name of the type of the brick so here we look up definitely we look up we look up what will be the lookup value lookup value will be this one and it should be absolute absolute because only this one i'm going to search from all other data so absolute means f4 okay and table array table array should be the brick table and we'll select only these two column except the heading because we need only brick name not other thing through brick code we name we need only brick name and column index will be 2 because my brick name belongs to the second column if you check the table brick table brick name be belongs to the second column and then you look up for exact data it will be always 0 for exact data now see brick name came milton buff okay so you have to be careful if some uh, lookup value is not um, here in your main table that time you have to type the lookup value with the help of other table got it okay now this is the main question now this question number mark is near about nine so you have to read this question very carefully because this is the combination of if view lookup and some other function also round okay some wall are single skin wall these are one brick thick that means some wall are single skin and it is one uh, one, uh, one brick thick stronger wall are double brick uh, skin double skin these are two bricks thick okay to calculate the number of bricks that will required for a single skin wall the following formula is used for single skin wall <coughs> for you have to find out the number of bricks you need okay for single screen world uh, you have to follow uh, you have to follow the following condition the length and height of the wall are multiplied together this is divided by the face area of each brick so length and height of the wall is given length of the wall and height of the wall 
length will be this one height will be this one okay it is not given so what you will do length and height length uh, you can give 400 suppose length i'm giving 400 and height is 60 some value you have to put for uh, for writing your formula for getting some value <coughs> after writing the formula okay now you have to write formula where according to the question paper uh, some weeks uh, uh, to calculate the to calculate the number of weeks that you will require uh, you require for a single skin wall the following formula is used so you have to write your formula in where you have to check that one you will need to buy these bricks so here you have to write down the formula so before writing formula what i have to see we have to see uh, condition so the length and height of the wall are multiplied together okay first do one thing equal to first bracket length and height length is uh, if you check the length it is in b5 and b6 height is b6 so you will what you will do b5 into b6 they ask length and height of the wall will be multiplied together that's why we multiplied these two value next one this is divided by face area of each brick now you have to divide this one by face area of each brick now question is that from where i will get the face area of each bricks check the other table bricks table here face area is given so my brick name is m right according to my first table main table my brick name is m through this one we can find out the face area so if i want to collect the face area from the other table what they said in the question paper you said this is divided by so i divide i gave the divide sign divide sign by the face area of each brick so how to find out the face area you have to collect the face area from another table so if you want to collect the face area from another table that means you have to use vlookup function so vlookup write down v uh, or you can click here vlookup what will be my lookup value this one table array this one should be absolute cell reference right here absolute is not needed it automatically it will work now table array will be the other table break in pack face area up to this so my column index will be from which column i am going to collect the data Col column number four and range lookup will be zero then press ok so what is the formula our formula is not over what i did according to the question paper if i check the question paper the length and height of the wall multiplied together i multiplied both of them and divided by the face area of each brick okay this is my first condition <coughs> for single skin wall now next question twice as many as bricks are needed for double skin wall so this is for single skin and for double skin also we have to write one formula but if the wall is single skin so we have to write here some if function if before this single skin if first bracket so what you have to write before where it is given single skin or double skin before equal to uh, before equal to under the embedded comma capital s then comma that means if it is single skin wall that that means this is the formula otherwise comma what you have to do you have to multiply by two the same thing what they said in the question paper for both uh, twice as many bricks are needed for double skin wall okay so you have to multiply two into with the same formula you have to type here just i'm copying this one sorry yeah. yes now bracket will be closed okay so this is for single skin wall and double skin wall if it is single skin now you can check the formula again let me make it big 
so f2 if b4 equal to single skin then the formula will be this one if it is double skin you have to multiply by 2 with the same formula right done now next part of this question what they said see the size of the uh, formula is very big but is easy also for both double skin and single skin world an extra 10 percent what does extra 10 percent means extra 10 percent means 110 right extra 10 percent uh, is always added as some bricks will be damaged you know uh, you have to add x extra 10 percent will be all uh, an extra 10 percent always added so some brick will be damaged when they will carry the bricks so sometime brick will be damaged right so that time extra 10 percent always you have to add with your bricks so extra 10 percent means 1.1 because uh, 10 percent means 110 so you have to if you want to convert into decimal point that time it will be you have to divide it by 100 so extra 10 percent will always extra 10 percent always add added always added as some bricks will be damaged okay so what you will do before this formula before if statement what you have to do one you have to multiply 1.1 .1, 100 divided by 100 right extra 10 percent means 100 and if you want to make it in the decimal format that time you have to divide by 100 so it will come 1.1 now next part of the question an extra 50 bricks are added as, um, as some will need to be cut okay sometime uh, when they will make the wall that time they need to break uh, like uh, cut some bricks so they, they cannot get the uh, half of the brick from the brick field right they need to buy full bricks so for that extra 50 bricks are needed like corner wall they need to uh, break the brick and they will not get uh, half of the brick from the brick uh, market like uh, brick field okay so they need to buy full bricks extra full uh, and extra 50 bricks are added as some will need to be cut so what you have to do extra 50 will be added 50 plus 50 plus 1.1 50 plus 1.1 then if done okay now press enter you you need this number of bricks but question is that they will not sell what they will not sell uh, like fraction brick okay so what you have to do you have to round it up with zero decimal place R O U N D round up. Always it will take the higher one. So he, here it was okay. Before round up, do one thing. Check your value. 427.81. That means you need 428. So if you make it round up, round up first bracket and give one comma and zero, then your value will be 428. Right? done I think you understood this formula because part by part I discuss what is the good idea for uh, write um, writing formula in the Excel you do part by part then it will be very easy see first what I did first I uh, I did the first part of the question for the single skin wall then here they are asking comparing if it is two is two double skin wall that time you have to multiply by two so we need to prove that whether it is single skin or double skin we have to check that so that's why I use if statement, right? So if it is S before equal to S, that time the formula will be this one. If before is not equal to S, that means automatically it will go for double two into this formula. It's very easy formula, but it's look um, like it's very big, but easy also. Done. Now next part of this question. Enter enter a formula in uh, cell B11 to calculate the number of bricks. This is done. Question number nine is done. Save and print the spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure that it is landscape orientation. Row and column heading are displayed. The content of all the cells are fully visible. Uh, showing the formula, you have to print it. So go to formula, show formula, and it, it should be landscape. So page layout, orientation, landscape. Okay. Now, what you can do, you can make it little bit small. 
okay and this one uh, make double click between two column the formula should be visible otherwise no use of writing the formula okay now this formula is visible right make it 100% then it will be it will look good now what they are asking uh, it is landscape orientation row and column heading are displayed the content of seller fully visible uh, okay now go to uh, file print paste setup uh, it should be uh, eighty percent. One of three. Okay. It's set up. Uh, make it more small. Sixty five. You can make it a little bit big because it can be two page, no problem. 85. Two page, three page, it does not matter. Okay. They did not mention that it is one page wide. Right. So it can be two or three page. So this way you can print. Any other thing? Oh, row and column heading should be visible. So go to setup. Uh, click on sheet. Row and column heading and grid line also. Then it will look good right so you'll, you'll see all the formula here is all the formula understood this way you can print okay next question enter the data uh, build a single skin wall with the big code v so what you have to do uh, in the main table let me make it a little bit big so it will be visible for you it, here it is given double skin wall right Uh, first make it normal view not formula view so formula show formula you unblock show formula so it will be in normal view now so what you will do here it should be single skin wall according to the question paper what they say it should be single skin wall the big code is V instead of M you just write down V and then uh, length is 400 centimeter and height is 60 uh, centimeter so 460 is given so your total number of value is 239 right so we got the same value because earlier also we put the same value 460 <coughs> okay so now next part of this question print description showing the value make sure that just you have to print it normal thing file print i think they asked for portrait right Print a uh, single page content of the also fully visible, so it should be in single page wide. So one of one, it is already single page page setup. It is little bit, it should be little bit big, so it should be visible 105 percent. More than that one also, you can make 120. Make it 120, then press OK. Now full data is visible, right? Just you have to print this one. Next question. Change the model so that uh, the wall is double skin is height is 50 centimeter okay print the spreadsheet showing the values now everything is easy just you have to change the value okay height it was height was 60 right the height was uh, 50 now we have to uh, 60 now we have to change it to 50 and after getting the value you will just if i make it 50 what will happen check your total value will be changed now 208 earlier time it was 229 right so to, earlier time it was like this 239 if I make it 50, it will be 208. So you have to take this, uh, print this one, that thing they are asking. I think you understand uh, the formula. And if you are not understanding, you can ask me in the push, uh, class. So, or you can check this video again.
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग